Hello world and welcome to my channel Helping Hand. Uh, this is my first video in uh, English language. Um, it's not my native language. Uh, I come from Germany and uh, yeah, it's uh, a, a long time ago uh, that I uh, spoke English. Uh, and um, yeah, what, I, what do I got here? Oh, it starts very good, this video, I know. Um, I ordered a guitar for your surprise and my surprise. No, I watched uh, guitars on eBay. And as you know, in my uh, other videos, um, I'm an offset guy, guitar wise. And um, yeah, got a lot of uh, jazz masters in the past and still own some jazz masters. And uh, I saw this and I hope, uh, <laughs> It's not only chocolate in here because it's unopened. Uh, I will open this uh, box uh, together with you. Um, I saw an offset guitar I never seen before uh, from a brand I really didn't knew uh, called Cox uh, with XX, please, not with the other. Okay. And um, I tried a little research uh, in the internet, uh, uh, googled around, and uh, there's not so much information about this brand Cox. Uh, and uh, I was getting more curious about this guitar. And um, yeah, I really got it cheap for a really good price. Uh, I paid 130 euro. I really don't know what's this in American dollar. I think quite the, uh, the same. Um, so uh, let's open it up. I will open this up together with you. And I hope everything is okay inside. But the box uh, seems very stable. Yeah, and I want, I want to uh, inspect it with you. Uh, Set uh, everything right up. Okay, another box. This is this is a good sign. This is a good sign. There's really a guitar in it, because uh, on the other hand, it would be a very short video. Whew. Some smoke in here. Yes. <laughs> What's this? Ah, oh, okay. He ordered a rock case for a holo body guitar. That makes sense. Okay. No lock letter. Okay. So, next box. I think this could be a guitar. <laughs> and I think he did a really good job that this guitar will not be damaged. It's also in a little, not guitar case, a uh, guitar back, as the name I think. Okay, oh man. This is a lot of material to rip off but better more than less in this case I think. it seems like a little battle me against the package material man Oh, 
unbelievable. <laughs> but I will write him back and be very thankful oh, that he protected this guitar so well. Oh. It's very good that this is not a kind of smelling smelling to smell TV. You know what I mean? It's uh, Very, very active smoker. Oh, alto belly. Whew. I think I really have to clean up this guitar. Oh. Have you ever had also experiences with really bad smelling packages and guitars? Whew. Okay, I see. That's a guitar. This is what I'm talking about. A Cox Class 6 with X. Yeah. Jazzmaster type, Jazzmaster offset guitar. Let's talk about offset guitar. Okay. With a vibrato tram, with a tram system. Um, two strings are missing, but I did know that. Three P90s, a one, two, three, four, five way selector switch, a tunematic bridge, and oh, I really don't know the English word, but there's still the in German we say folio, it's, it's still on here, the protection. You know, okay. <sighs> okay. But what I'm really curious about uh, are these three guys here. It's also switches and uh, I think maybe it has something to do with base cut and or a middle cut or yeah we will find out together there's vintage style tuners show you the back of it it has a yeah it's a satin net looks a little bit glossy maybe of course maybe cause of a Age of this guitar, I think, could be in the 90s, 2000. I really don't know. As I said before, it, uh, you really got not no oh man, you really got not so much information in the internet or on the internet. Yeah, I think I have to clean this guitar with you. The strings. Uh, yeah. Oh no, we do it the other way. I just plug it in and then we make together a setup. Oh, okay. The bridge. The bridge pew is really, really high. Can you see this? Yeah. It nearly touches the strings. Okay. Yeah. Just um just a shortcut and uh, we will see us uh, right uh, yeah so I'm back uh, I just detected that the input jack is loose I will just tighten it with my fingers ah, okay oh, oh, really curious no plectrum no no pl oh, okay just tune it. Okay. Tuners seem to work very good, I think. Yeah. 
Those are really old strings. I think this guitar didn't earn so much love in the last years. Okay. So let's start with neck PU and every switch in this position. Um, I have a little Boss Katana here. Um, and it's, uh, it's set up uh, to my Affinity Jazz Master, so sound-wise they are maybe in the same area. Um, okay, give it a listen. Uh, something is wrong here. I could tune it up. Oh, man. Okay, oh. now the container is on. Okay, Woo. yeah, let's start. <laughs> Third position, I think it's only this one, this guy in the middle. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it smells so bad, this guitar. The first thing I would really clean it up. Sticks a little out here. Nothing special or something that I'm really interested in. Because it's all about sound and uh, playability. Okay, next position. Yeah, I think it's these two guys. Bridge. 
to the neck position and uh, now let's see if uh, what these three little guys are doing here. Check the in between position, neck and middle. Let's see what happens there. Expected something like uh, oh, what's the name uh, out of phase, yeah, out of phase, phase position. But to my ears, I really don't know what your ears are doing it in this case. But this switch makes it cuts the highs, and I'm in the in between position. This one also. to do now is uh, clean this guitar up. So I cut off the strings and uh, now I'm cleaning this up with some soap. I really don't know, soap? This, this kitchen soap. Yeah, you are washing dishes with it. Good now. And uh, yeah, well, let's start. It's, it really smells like animals are running around here in my house. And I hope this will help. Okay, what could I tell you in the space time? Yeah, maybe some motivation why 
I wanted this guitar and it's not the price. Um, if you go to live concerts uh, or, you, or you have a favorite guitar type, Jaguar, Jazzmaster, um, you always see on stage, or from my experience, the same guitars. Yeah. You see Gibson Les Pauls in different colors. You see Fender Telecasters in different colors. But in the end, uh, apart from pickup configurations or pickup selections, um, they are the same guitars. They look the same. And I'm always really, really um, impressed. Yeah, I'm impressed and, and curious when I see a guitar player on stage and I look at this guitar and think, hey, never heard of it. But what's, what's this kind of guitar? It really sounds brilliant. Man, <laughs> I want your guitar. And uh, because I'm not a, a very well-known guy or my band Resche, um, this will not happen. But you heard the first checkup without cleaning and setting up this guitar. It really sounded very, very, very good to my ears. I really don't know how it sounds over the smartphones. neck yeah the frets are okay at the first look not that small but they also don't yeah maybe medium jumbo I would say for the size not jumbo frets but medium jumbo I always use this word cure. Okay. Just a little interruption. Okay, sorry for this little interruption. Um, I just detected something here on the neck. Oh, I can't read it, but uh, there's some stickers on it. Um, and there's also an inspected by sticker and it's really difficult without glasses but this could be the 6th of November <laughs> other way around okay this would be 90 but why should someone write it this way on the head? And this way, 2014. This, this could I not imagine that this guitar is from 2014. But maybe you, the community, the viewers, know something about this Cox Classics check. Jackmaster, Jazzmaster of uh, of sight, mm, okay, uh, of set. So this is the first round, but it doesn't smell better, really. The tuners are. Yeah, as I said before, vintage style. And they are okay. There's no brand there to see. But that I didn't expect that this that this guitar is really good good and expensive tuners, but at 
this moment I would say I would not change them. I really don't like, um, by the way, this sunburst guitars. It's just my taste. Uh, I think they're all, they, to me, it always uh, has the look of uh, old man's guitars. Uh, it's not really, it's a traditional, I know there's a lot of, and I think this is a two-tone or three-tone sunburst. I don't know. It looks okay. It looks okay for me because it really got a really big pickguard. And all this uh, Jaguar type uh, played here. And this one, it remembers me of something. It's also Jack Master, Jazz Master, no Jazz Master not. So, and the next round, and I think it really, that the taste really disappears. I have this big package, guitar care kit. There's lemon oil, of course you need lemon oil. String cleaner. And never, never use string cleaner. Because I wash my hands before I play guitar. Or putting just new strings on it. But this is really good. Guitar polish. Polish, polish, polish. And I will... Come on. have to struggle with opening things today. Oh, okay. Yeah, and this is, smells good. <laughs> so, an old sock. And carefully floating it over the body. Stop. Body. Mm. Oh! This guitar looks much better now, you see? It's like looking in a mirror. Mm. Now you get, get a little love from me, baby, here. You will, you were not treated well, I think, in the last years. Also the plates are really shiny now. <laughs> and I want to put um, this strings on it. Uh, from the Dario 11 to 52 because P90s tend to be not that bassy although they're missing some bass frequencies frequencies from my experience so I think this could be a good choice and uh, to be totally true I didn't find my 10 to 46 in my house, but maybe this is then by accident, 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 could be a good choice, I think. Woo! The neck is now a glossy neck. <laughs> oh, looks, looks really nice, you will see in a moment. Yeah, little baby. Hmm? Neck. Mm. 
and I really don't know what, what kind of wood uh, was used here. But I'm not that guy that really looks to this because I really don't care if it's mahogany, ma ma mahogany or ash or poplar. Just important that the guitar sounds good and plays good. That's all about. So I really don't care about brands. As I told in the other German video, I owned hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of guitars in the last 30 years. Played it, cleaned it. And I really like this. I really like making things shiny again, setting up things correctly. Looks like a brand new guitar, if you ask me. Wow. Okay. no damages on it, no scratches on the back, that really surprises me. It seems like this guitar is only played at home and not in a live situation or has been toured with a band. Okay, now look at this. Totally different guitar. Maybe now we have to pay 150 euro, 20 euro more. Really, really shiny now. The next, <laughs> the next still feels uh, satin, of course, but it looks glossy now. And the back, the belly cut, by the way. That's good for me. Okay, I just tried to rip off, I really still don't know the English word, or the German word folie. But maybe it's been, yeah, it's been so long on this plastic that you really can't move it away. Oh, well, here, maybe on this side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know the English word for this. Hmm. But I think this is really too boring for you. I will do this. I will do this in the future. So, what I do next is, yeah, of course. First, we uh, use some lemon oil. Could be rosewood. It looks like rosewood. Could fit from the years, from the year. But I really don't know. And it's the same with a body wood type. I really don't care. So. And this one is enough for a whole neck. As you can see. better. It was not really dry but very dirty and now that I clean it up I will not clean up the frets. Uh, this is also not really important to me. Just a little. You can also use the lemon oil 
from this. Um, some people might not prefer this, but from my experience, you can do this, no problem. Because you make it dry now, and polish it again. To me, it really looks very, very beautiful now. Yeah. Okay, the next thing I do is uh, just a little shortcut. So the next thing I do when I uh, receive a used guitar, aside from cleaning maybe in this case, But it smells much better. A really dirty cigarette. Uh, uh, it's coming from all the packages over there. It's it's in the, it's in the whole uh, room here. Yeah, this is this is much better. The guitar really smells good now. Okay. Okay. What I do is tighten up all the screws. There are screws that are not so important. I pick up screws. But there are some screws that are really important for your tone and your sustain. And the most important screw on this neck uh, and this guitar are these four ones. Because it's not a set neck. Okay, they're really tight to my surprise. But you really, okay, a little bit. We really lose sustain. If, okay, this was a short story. And also important, the screws on the bridge. Not not this screw. This is this screw here. That's for the trim unit to tighten it or to lose it. But we are screws. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's no more. Okay. They're not so important pickup screws, but to me they seem to be all really good tightened switches. Okay. And also important, oh different screws and different sizes here on the widget style tuner. There are smaller and bigger ones. <laughs> Let's see if a screwdriver fits. Okay. And by the way, I I really don't know if it's the right word, detected. I saw that. I saw something on the guitar that really I'm not really sure about. And this little guy you put your whammy bar, I think it's the right term, into. Yeah. But it seems yeah, it has to be not to stick in, screw around. But there's something inside, and I really can't catch it with a camera. And I hope, 
it's not that someone played and uh, destroyed all the unit. I have to look in my cellar, cellar. I don't know. Uh, if I got a whammy bar from this type. Okay. Next thing. New strings. And we will see if a 11-252 fit to the space of a nut. Yeah. Mostly when you when you buy a new Fender Squire, the, the, the standard size from the strings is 9 to 42, I think. Uh, for me it's too thin. I think standard is 10 to 50, uh, 10 to 46. Um, and we have no problems putting them uh, onto your 9 to 40 uh, nut. But I'm not sure about this size. We will see. Well, I can show you what you can do if it doesn't fit that good. Start with a big, big E string, a deep E string. It's really quiet here. In the last video, I had some background music, but maybe you like it more quiet. And just watching a guy setting up his guitar. So, put this through this bridge. Okay, this is not split shaft, the traditional. Okay. Now we got the first problem. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Oh, okay. It really doesn't fit that good. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can see it not. This is a plastic nut, by the way. What you can do is what I do now. Some people may say, oh, you can't do this, but I do it. You put the strings in the nut, hold it this way, and do this one. Oh, and it, it uh, sticked in, yeah, okay. This is okay, and it doesn't fall out. Tuck. Tuck, 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 tuck. You hear this? Maybe I have to put some graphite in there. Okay. So this is. Much too long, so I have to cut the strings. Um, but I will restring all the whole guitar now. Uh, I think this is some kind of boring for you. And uh, we will see us in a, just a moment. Okay, we're back. New strings on it, 11.52. Um, I had to tighten the truss road here. Okay. Find in this little hole a little bit because of the uh, bigger strings and, uh, and the string height. Um, there's no buzzing in the first fret. The string height for my for my, uh, uh, for my uh, what I like. Well, like in case of string height, um, they're a little bit low here on the high frets. Um, 
But the adjustomatic bridge is uh, at the end. I can't I can't put it more lower. This is the compromise I have to take uh, uh, in this case. Um, I try to find a whammy bar in the space time. Uh, where do I got it here? This is the whammy bar from my Affinity Lake Classic Blue Jazz Master, but it's much too big. Doesn't doesn't fit in the hole. So, but maybe in the future I'm I'm not using this trim units. Uh, yeah, not really. Uh, beside my uh, Ibanez has this uh, Bixby type uh, trim. It's really working very very well. Um, I really don't know. I just Google it. It's octave pure, the right word. Yeah, when you play deep E string and you grip in the twelfth fret, it also has to be a pure E. Uh, to me, it sounds good, but um, I'm not sure about it. So maybe I will set up. This uh, settles, string settles, yeah, correctly. So now let's see how it sounds. Tuner. The high strings are okay, not 100%, but the low E string and the A string, they're not octave pure. I don't care about this at the moment. Okay, let's give it a listen. <laughs> some effects on. <laughs>
Almost a little stretch, stretchy, no? It sounds strat like. Beautiful. Katana is still uh, set up to my affinity jazz mass. I will, I will do a little comparison. Uh, just a minute. <laughs> position on all guitars but that's only my ears um, on all my guitars I only play the neck PU uh, this is this is my sound <laughs> bridge P bridge position is for me always always too harsh even with humbuckers Go, the string height goes more up. It's okay now. It's better, but yeah, that's a, it's a really bad compromise, I think. again. Okay, there's some effects. Mm. 
sound of his p90s um, my favorite is the neck and the neck and middle in between position um, and the other position I don't care about it's not so my cup of tea but let's make uh, a short comparison same setup other guitar quite in tune I think Mm. 
Hey, I'm doing fast. Still the crappy tuners on it. This vintage tuners feel much better on a much older guitar. Okay. Contrast with Affinity as uh, with Affinity Jazz Master. It's much more high, more trebly, um, less bass response than this Cox Classics. Um, yeah, has some in this guitar. There's also P ninety ish pickups. Okay, but we have 1000 K ports, is that right? I really don't know the number. 1001 M mega, you know. And I think that the Cox has got only 500. So this produces much more highs. <laughs> guitar is better, it's just different. Let's try this. Between. 
is sound both very very good different if you would ask me what guitar i would choose just playing at home you know you know you remember the last video uh, i talked in german with english subtitles i hope they worked um Today I'm in the um, um, rehearsal room. I will pick it up uh, with me and uh, try it over my main amp. And with a boss katana, you just got a first impression, I would say, in this case. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I will release uh, videos from time to time. <laughs> I would say uh, I've got not so much time with a family guy because uh, I'm a family guy and um, yeah if you like my playing you can follow my band Dresche uh, on all the uh, you know Instagram and YouTube and all this kind of stuff okay have a nice day your helping hand bye